With all the pageantry at the convention tonight, it's easy to get the impression that Rochester's delegates don't have much to do. And that's partly true, tonight at least. But there's more to the convention than the official convention. Actually, we started early this morning with the New York State uh, Democratic Caucus, and then we also had the, the caucus caucus meeting. We as Democrats are the ones who took it as Padilla and the rest of New York State's delegates spent much of the morning hearing a plea for party unity from Governor Mario Cuomo. I believe that uh, eyes will focus eventually on New York to see how this business of uniting is managed. Later, delegates learned that Jesse Jackson and Michael Dukakis had themselves bridged some of their differences on key party platform issues. Well, I, I thought it was very positive. Uh, there's no question in my mind that both are working eagerly to ensure that they reach a consensus. Um, and that's the goal, not only of this convention, but also of the delegates. Some delegates are squeezing in some less political activities. This was a giant reception held at a local college. We ended up coming out to Spelman College. We were invited by the mayor of Atlanta, Andrew Young, to enjoy some home cooking and see some local people, and it's, it's been great. Still, no festivities can mask the fact that some key party platform issues remain to be debated. Delegates will probably stake out their positions in meetings Tuesday morning. Tonight, at least, whatever differences might remain between the factions have been put aside. You might think of this as a family reunion. Tonight, everyone is a Democrat and willing to put aside any family squabbles until tomorrow. In Atlanta, David Burns, New Center 13. This morning's New York delegates meeting was delayed by demonstrators who have more than once tried to inject the controversial case of Tawana Brawley onto the agenda. Rochester delegates, like most others, have refused to tangle with the issue of the black teenager's alleged abduction by whites because so much of the evidence in the case has been disputed. Police were finally called in to keep order and delegates got down to business. Don't lose sight of the hundreds of things that have already been debated and agreed upon and the fact that there are only three may be somewhat a miracle in itself. The three remaining issues include nuclear weapons and the Mideast, but taxes are the big issue. Jesse Jackson's backers want the party to endorse a plan to raise taxes on the wealthy. People are going to understand, we want our money back, we have been swindled, the revenue that has been hijacked from the American budget must be taken back from the millionaires, Ronald Reagan must not be allowed to run off with our money. Thank you very much. But Dukakis supporters from Rochester and elsewhere generally consider the idea of going on record with Jackson's plan virtually political suicide. Still, Jackson's backers want the issue voted on the convention floor. When we are here, and, uh, when we are seated together in, in the delegations, all of them are saying, well, you know you're right, but it's not uh, politically expedient. But we're, we're saying that uh, we think that America is ready for this. We want equal distribution of wealth. We also want the wealthy paying their rightful share of the taxes. Of course, the plain fact is that Dukakis has more delegates here than Jackson does, so a call for higher taxes is not likely to be approved as part of the official party platform. Even so, Jackson's backers will be able to air their views on this subject before a TV audience of millions, and that is something of a victory. In Atlanta, David Burns, New Center 13.